What's up guys? So I just got back from Florida probably like a week ago. Um, I just wanted to do this video quick to review the uh, rod tube that I got. So this is the plane airliner jumbo plane o rod tube. And I'm just gonna show you some stuff on the uh, on the rod tube and some things to remember when you're going, you know, putting your rod tube on the plane, how to pack it, and uh, you know, my experience bringing this on the plane. So, all right, let me show you. So one of the things I really like about this rod tube is it has wheels on the back. So when you're walking through the airport, you just lift it by the handle and drag it behind you. You know, when this thing is slid open with, with big rods in it, it actually gets, you know, pretty cumbersome. So how this, it has a carrying handle, you know, which is nice. When it's compacted, it's got a handle on the front, on the front of the rod tube. So you, you know, hold it like this and you just drag it through the uh, airport. This is pretty simple to come off. It's got like a little groove, so it just pops. You just turn it and pull this right off. The bungee is a great idea that attaches the, the top to the, the main tube. And then you got some foam in here you know, for the end. I know a couple of guys who had said when they bought this, theirs didn't come with foam, but this one, you know, I think the newer ones have the foam in the front and all the way in the bottom of the tube. I checked this foam in the back and in the front of this thing. So uh, how this works is there's a pin, you know, like it's almost like a trailer pin and you extend the rod tube to the length that you need for whatever rods you're putting in there line up the holes and you put the pin back in the reason that I have let me see if I can get this to work there we go so the one thing I will say about when you bring this on the plane which is the reason you can see I have cable here you know hold fixed to the pin when you bring this on the plane TSA is going to open this they're gonna take all your rods out and they're gonna take the whole tube apart so the very first time that I brought this on the plane they actually took my pin out and didn't put it back so I got the rod tube back with no pin in it and it was sliding up and down you know, I could have had my rods broken or whatever. Luckily, nothing was messed up. You know, we rigged something for the way home. And when I got home, I got another, I got a trailer pin to put in here. And I actually, you know, wire crimp and crimped it so that now when you take this out, it's attached to the, you know, to the thing. They can't lose it. Another thing you might want to think about is, you know, whatever spot that you have your pin in maybe put some tape over the other holes so that when tsa is putting it back together they know which hole to put it in like i would just take a piece of black electrical tape and put it over the holes maybe you know a couple that that obviously it's not gonna be these ones up here but that it could be so that they put your rod tube back together the right way i mean not, none of my stuff got broken but I've heard that they're, you know, they can be pretty rough. They can break the tips of your rods, you know, and just to try to avoid issues, the last thing you want is to get down to Florida on a trip, pull your rods out of the tube and half of them are broken. Then you have to go through, you know, calling the airline and everything. It's a whole big pain in the ass. So this was probably the best thing that I did. You know, the only complaint that I had about this rod tube was that you know the you can lose the pin but if you can bungee it or uh you know just something that i think is permanent i don't know if you're allowed to put a lock on here like a lock with the key or, or a padlock i don't know if you can put that and bring that on the plane because maybe they do need to take it apart i'm not really sure but i'm going to show you how i pack this also all right, so this is how I packed uh, my rod when the last time we went. So I have two towels that I laid out end to end. 
you know, about the length of the rod. And I'm basically just gonna roll the rod in the towel like this. And just roll it over a few times. And you can put the next rod in there. Roll that over a few times. And depending on how many rods you have or whatever, you can use four towels, two towels. Basically, it's just, you know, some cushion because inside the tube, you know, the walls of the tube, there's no cushion in there. And, you know, the bag handlers are going to be rough with this. TSA is going to be rough with it. They're not going to put your stuff back nicely. So I just put it in the towel. Put it in the tube, and let's try to make this a little longer. Make sure you leave enough room at the end of the tube, so that the tips aren't sticking out. About like that, you have a little bit of space with this, and that's pretty much it. You just you want to make sure that when they are putting this back together. They're not gonna smash your rod tips or do anything like that. You know, that could be a huge pain in the ass when you get down there to have broken rods and things like that. Um, but besides that, this is a great rod tube. I know that Plano makes another one that's a little smaller. I actually like this one better because it has the wheels and the opening is bigger. So if you're going on a trip with like three or four guys, you can fit everybody's rods in this one tube. We went, I think I had seven rods in here when we went down and uh, I had plenty of room, I could have, could have put more. So it's just less stuff to check, you know, less bags to put on the plane. Um, it was 35 bucks to check this because it was the only thing that we checked on the trip. I think if you Check it on a, on the second bag. It's more expensive. Some airlines might charge you for oversized uh, luggage Depending on you know which airline you went we flew Delta and JetBlue Both both airlines. It was 35 bucks to check this. You know, it wasn't an oversized uh, You know if they if it's over 50 pounds they charge more if it's extra large whatever they charge more so this was 35 bucks, you know, we split it between the three guys and it was it was like nothing. It was like ten dollars a guy or whatever We put all our rods in here worked out Really good. So I definitely recommend this Plano rod tube and it makes you know makes traveling a lot easier. So but like I said definitely try to Fix this pin to the rod tube somehow Whether it's with the cable tie and crimps like I did or a bungee or a lock or something because you know I, the very first time I took this thing on the plane they lost it on me so all right I hope you enjoyed this video if anybody wants to send me some stickers I got a couple on there already NorCal Manhattan and Montauk for the rod tube send them our way and I uh, hope you like this video check out our channel for more fishing stuff